Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown and welcome social media massive to my vlog. Um, there's been quite a considerable gap between the last vlog and this vlog and this vlog is going to be the season finale. It is definitely going to be the season finale um, simply because I've got stuff to do now and before I go into anything else um, I want to thank each and every one that has contributed to the last season of vlogs especially with um the tutorials that i've been putting up and also the in conversation with series that i've been putting up as well and i want to thank all the new subscribers and all those that's contributed by way of comments and liking and subscribing and what have you to the channel so i want to thank each and every one for that um and give thanks for the full encouragement that people's been giving me in continuing doing what I'm doing because it's not just about me being the artist as Randy Valentine would say it's about being where the heart is it's all about where the heart is as, a, as opposed to being the artist at the end of the day so um, I want to thank each and every one on a day after a week that has it's been one of the most darkest weeks I've ever witnessed man you know and I'm not going to get on my soapbox about the spate of violence and what have you. We, we, we've seen it enough times. It's happened enough times. I've made videos about it. I've been, you know, I've been involved with anti-gun and anti-knife campaigns. And sadly, you know, we're just singing the same songs now. And it's, it's a multifaceted problem that needs multifaceted solutions. I don't know if faceted is the right term to use within a problem but you know what i'm saying right so i'm not even going to get into any of that only just to say that i cannot imagine being in a situation where i'll be grieving for my kids that hasn't seen a portion of their lives lived out as yet i've just finished watching a program and it was basically tackling the whole gang violence thing and what have you. But what really brought it home and what really should bring it home to a lot of people is actually the interviews with the families, man. The families that are going through what they are now going through. You know, some has lost their children years and years ago and they have not seek, not seeked, that's the wrong word. They have not attained any justice for the crimes committed against their children and it's just really 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 sad but i don't want to be a part of the disapproving chorus and what have you as part of the too much talking scenario but i'm just i'm just heartbroken by it and if my condolences add that amount of comfort in their time of grief then it's it's better than nothing so i offer that um but anyway, it is the season finale of my vlog and I did promise that it was going to be a QA. and a um, and I've got three questions, <laughs> three questions, which I'm going to go into real, real quick and um, let you know of my goings on after the season has finished. So let's go into the first question, which is from um, Come Natural who is a regular viewer and a subscriber to my channel. And he says, blessings LB. My question is recently singer Shandy posed an interesting observation regarding the fact that currently there is no official UK reggae chart like the old Black Echoes charts and the detrimental effect this is having to the music in regard to the promoting of the music internationally and importance of artists and producers having a fair and level picture of music sales and popularity etc not to mention the buying public having this information most other genres have their official charts would love to hear your thoughts on this one love wow that's a huge question um well basically the environment that we're basically living in is a, is a digital environment and i just think that that a digital format like music not just music but books and movies and computer games, anything that's enveloped um, within the entertainment industry 
is always going to be susceptible to piracy. Do you know what I mean? I mean, if if Jay Z and Rihanna and Beyonce and Shaggy and whoever are going to get pirated and be sold in Korea or China or Ridley Road Market for like five pounds a pop, then who am I? Do you know what I'm saying? And and with record stores as well, even with hard copy discs as well, it's susceptible for um, CDs to be pressed under the counter and sold outside of the counter and what have you. So to actually put uh, a direct, um, to put a direct sales figure to chart our musical progress as it were by showing chart positions in this age it's it's nigh on impossible now because you don't have the record stores that will log all these things down and not every record store is going to be honest in doing so either do you know what i mean and as opposed to other charts basically other genres having their charts i think the same basically applies with them as well it's it's like you know with the advent of different record companies coming up and being front and center now they're all being bought out by one big record company to make a conglomerate of record companies that's more or less the industry standard in terms of which songs basically makes the charts makes the billboard charts makes the national charts makes the streaming charts download charts or what have you so i think with the fact that um more independent companies are not reliant on major record companies is part and parcel of the whole shift in terms of the popularity being marked in terms of position is it just seems to be all about airplay and with airplay it's susceptible to payola as well so it's not like you know the songs that are getting played are being played because they're worthy of being played all in 2018 right now there are djs all over the world that will not play your tune unless you pay them that is not a, an honest objective indication as to how popular a song is so even to have a chart if we were to have a chart in the reggae music fraternity there'll be many people looking at the chart and thinking well i haven't heard that tune played on the radio how come that that's got a number 15 position do you know what i'm saying it's not like how it used to be you know just like how you know um sending a letter in an envelope and a stamp and posting it was the thing back in the day when people don't even do that anymore really at the end of the day because now we have emails and all that stuff but i digress but you know where i'm basically going with it so my thoughts is is just that we the entertainment industry has evolved to a standard now where it's all about digital content as opposed to physical content that's having a more blanket coverage and i think the the flip side of that is that you know we can't really um we can't really have a chart to basically position that in reggae from my perspective anyway i could be wrong you could share your thoughts but that's just it for me at the end of the day you know um I believe that when you make music, you don't make music to attain a chart position anyway. But if it does get a chart position, it's a bonus. But that's not the the objective. That's not the inspiration for me. And it shouldn't really be for anyone else, you know, because it's down to the people that hears the music. It's like I keep saying with the Bob Marley quote, you make rightful music and it will take its rightful course and it will find its rightful people. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so next up, we have got a question from Love Always. And Love Always, I don't know if he's a guy or girl or what have you, asks, just heard your song Catch a Fire on Diverse FM. When's it released? It's a wicked tune. Glad you mentioned that tune because um, Catch a Fire is produced by my brethren um, Lloyd DJ Warm and Easy Mullins and also Lee from World Beat Music. And um, there is a serial on that rhythm. It's called the Press Wallpaper Rhythm. 
and it's in honor of my song Main Squeeze because it contains the lyric press while be about tonight. So they they just basically honored honored the tune as it were, and um, I'm really grateful for that. But yeah, it's on the press wallpaper rhythm and it features um, I think it's Little Kirk, Torch, obviously myself. I can't remember the other artist. But um, that should be released this month, actually. Or if not, it's probably been released already. I've just kind of been out of the loop. But anyway, it's going to be on my um, deluxe digital edition of Vocalist, which is going to be released on Friday, the 26th of May. And that's basically going to have five to maybe six more extra tracks on the album, thus giving it the deluxe edition moniker, as it were. So yeah, so the release date, I don't know from World Beats music perspective, but from my perspective, is going to be released as part of the digital deluxe edition of Vocalist on Friday, the 26th of May. Okay, and we have one more question from my self-proclaimed stalker, Carolina Reggae Vibes, and, she's, and she asks on Facebook, Guess who has question? Me. <laughs> was watching I'm Sorry video this morning and she asked, was that Bubblers on keyboard? Yes, is a simple answer. That was Carlton Bubblers Ogilvy on that video. And also you had, um, uh, as well as cameo roles from Peter Huntingale, Clairview Harmonics, DJ Elaine. Musically, you had um, Otis Curtin, who plays bass and who was in my Sweet Distortion band, and also Basil Barnaby, who played drums, who was in my Sweet Distortion band, and also Martin Tata Augustine, who plays guitar. And he played guitar for Loose Ends, played guitar for Aswad, and um, done many, many a session, many a stage show with different bands, including Rough Cut, yada, 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 yada. So yes, short and sweet answer, bubblers, is the brother on keyboard so with that i want to thank all those that has asked me um the cues for me to give you the a's now um what else is happening okay i need to mention that um i got a phone call from star vibes basically letting me know that the forthcoming release of my collaboration with granty asher entitled hard for handle will not be released tomorrow um due to technical reasons but it will obviously be released, but um, the release date is going to be put back. I don't know when the um, the amended release date will be, but when I know, you will know. Um, and with that, what else have I got going on the pipeline? I'm actually going to be working on a couple of collaborations. going to be working alongside um, Gary Digitech Lewis, and we're working with, with him and the camp and I'm going to be doing a couple of collaborations one with Jackie George and another with um with Starkey Banton and um the Starkey Banton or Chucky Banton forgive me man <laughs> my head's all over the place yeah I'm going to be working is it Chucky Banton yeah it's Chucky Banton I'm going to be working with Chucky Banton why did I get Starkey Banton Starkey Banton Ras bless up <laughs> And we're working with Chucky Banton on a collaboration as well. So I've got that on the cards. And also the album, the long-awaited album with Fiona, which obviously is not going to be released as yet because I did state it was going to be released in March. That's gone, so it's not going to happen. Um, but we're working on it. And also um, I'm going to be working on the Brown and Bubblers project. Um, it's more or less 80% done in terms of vocals and, and writing and stuff like that. And we're looking to basically drop that around October. And in 2019, I'm going to be working on the follow-up to my Rutical album produced by the mighty Zion Eye production, Zion Eye Kings. Um, and that's going to be dropping in 2019. So I've got a lot on. But no doubt I'm going to be marking different aspects of my work by doing future vlogs. But I just wanted to wrap up season three and take a little bit of a break from you seeing my face on the camera, so to speak, and get on with the, the, the work of making music that I, that I do. So with that, I wanna thank each and every one of you for 
just being a part of this journey that I've been taking vlog wise I'm really really honored and thankful that you are embracing what I'm doing because it's not about me it's not about me and it's not about me it's about it's about music and my love for music and my love for the people that love the music the same way I love music you get what I'm saying so you know it's 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 all it's all about that at the, at the end of the day and it's about you know passing the baton on and uplifting and inspiring future generations of music producers and vocalists and what have you anyone that's in that wants to be a part of the music business as it were so it's with that i want to thank you thank you so much for for just showing me love with what i've been doing and i'm going to take the time out to do some work at the minute i'm going to be working on yeah digitech stuff today so it's with that I'm going to bid you guys adieu for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, you done know the coup. People, please, 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 if it means anything, please abstain from foolishness. Even if it's your own foolishness, just confront it, admit to it, deal with it, push it one side and move on. Okay? Don't be embroiled by your own foolishness much less anyone else's okay so it's with that i'm gonna bid you guys adieu and until i link the item on the next series the next season of my vlog season four which will soon forward stay blessed my god